Would you believe me if I told you the difference between a pro and an amateur website came down to just three simple things? Nah, surely not. And these things are so simple that anyone with a website can correct them. No way, don't believe you. Well, I studied the top websites in the world and found something startling. The websites were amazing, but not for the reasons you might think. They didn't have fancy graphics and animations and loads of interactive elements. Instead, I found three fundamental design features that set them apart. Okay, I'm listening. Let's face it, if your website isn't wowing your customers, instead it's giving them a headache, then you're probably missing one or all of these three important design features. I'm gonna show you my shocking findings when it came to investigating what makes a professional website appear professional. And then I'm gonna grill some amateur ones too. So sorry if I happen to pick your website. And the funny thing is, and I'm not trying to spoil anything here, but the things that make them look professional are really simple things that anyone can change about their own website. So you can change your website from being in the amateur category into the pro one. But stick around until the end because I'm gonna show you exactly how you can produce a professional looking website yourself that even Coca-Cola would be proud of. To find my selection of professional websites, I simply Googled the top businesses in the world and went to their websites. And it didn't take me long to discover what the things were that made them look so professional. This is disney.co.uk. What's the first thing that you notice whenever you come to this? website. So they have this pretty cool image kind of slightly off to the side with a bit of a gradient color over it there. Just the title of the movie and some call to actions. We move down and they have the different sections or different services that they offer with some nice images, small bit of text. We have a nice little bit of a zoom effect just as the mouse hovers over it. Very little text, a little call to action there. Lovely big image here of a child opening a present. Next one then, again, big images demonstrating the different areas. Right, let's go up to our next one. This one's Visa. First thing that we notice is a real simple menu here. And then we have this really nice video working in the background here. Then we go into their different sections, the things that they're advertising on their website. We have a little bit, again, of a little zoom effect when the mouse goes over them. And just a title, no other text than that. Nice images, nice friendly, real images. How many colors are they using? Really one. One color, their brown color, their blue throughout. There are the rest of the color, a little bit of a yellow color there. Blue and their yellow, okay? Let's move on to the next one. This one's Guinness. Again, what stands out first here is this pretty cool video playing in the background. So we have some more beautiful images here, really good quality images, and a real black background to this one. Plenty of black space in between the items. And the one color being used then throughout is the one brand color. And the last one then we're gonna look at is Tesla. Again, what is the first thing that pops out to you here? And for me, it is their images. I mean, these look class. Look at the mountains in the background. The cars just look like they're popping out. They just look very cool. Little bit of a title, very small bit of text, and that's it. Lots of space in between. All we have is a very little bit of text and the call to action here. Tesla don't seem to be using any real colors in their website, apart from we have the black and then we have the white of the text. The, all the color is coming from the images that they have. Now it's time to have a look at some of the amateur ones. And to be fair, I thought it would take me longer to find some poor websites, but unfortunately it didn't. I simply chose a keyword, reflexology, and then I picked a random city. I picked London. So I typed in Reflexology London and I basically looked at the top couple of websites that came up. Here's what I found. I mean, why is there so many different options up here in the menu? That's just looks so jumbled. There's no logo here. This just literally says the title of the page, a bunch of text, book appointment, absolutely no branding, no images, nothing has gone into this website. This is a free website as well. Make a free logo with Yola or something, never heard of that. I don't think websites need to be expensive, but I do think you need to pay something for them. Next one, so. So we have this big image to start with. So what does this tell us? Absolutely nothing about reflexology in it. I would think if I came to this, that this is some kind of like sun holiday website or something. Kind of blurry, tells us absolutely nothing. Here we have a gift voucher, a bunch of text here, a tiny little image, uh, not great. Aim for you, optimize your treatment. Okay, at least it's providing some kind of information. And then we have a bunch of logos. This kind of weird, why have we got a Instagram logo here? And then it's gonna, yeah. Powered by GoDaddy website builder. Again, not very professional, okay? Get rid of these little bits here. If you're actually paying for your website, you should be able to get rid of the branding. Let's go on to this yoga. 
platform this actually isn't too bad on the offset it looks you know we've got nice big images at least we know straight away that this is about yoga thing i noticed on this website though i don't know if you can see it here but when i scroll up and down it has a really weird effect it's like it's slightly delayed so nice image good image i like that bunch of text here way too small way too much text these are nice little sections actually and we have the nice little hover effect that's not too bad it, it links into the other section eh, subscribe to our newsletter you know give them a reason to subscribe give them a freebie or a free video to watch or something yeah not too bad could be better by yeah get rid of this weird scrolling effect in the end i did happen to find an amateur website that did a little bit better it has a nice image on the background and yeah we can tell that this is about reflexology and a nice clear call to action normal scrolling section and this isn't too bad it's got a nice small introductory to read walk in float out yeah i quite like that some nice images here they could maybe have a bit of a hover effect with the mouse goes over them not too bad power by squarespace i don't know is this a free website if it's free pay for it to get rid of the branding my goodness so what have we learned from our website excursion today the first thing that stuck out for me was the exceptional photography and the images that they used whether to showcase their products or their services so i would urge you to never ever use a poor quality image on your website even consider investing in a professional photographer to get some headshots done or professional photos of your products you can also go to a selection of websites that give you free stock photography. Just to make sure that the images are relevant to your brand and your business. The next key thing that I noticed was the fact that there was so much space. And in some cases, it was just plain white space. There was very little actual content, very few words written. So I think that's important to realize you don't need to cram in loads of information on your website pages. Leave room for a lot of space. The third thing that I noticed that was quite surprising to me is how little color was used in the design. In some cases, they didn't use color at all. Simply black and white was enough. And this made the website's look and feel really polished and professional. So how can you easily achieve a professional website without spending thousands of dollars on a web designer? All you need is a WordPress installation, the Astra theme, and a plugin called Starter Templates. You basically pick the template that you like the most and customize it to your needs. And if you wanna know exactly how to do just that, then consider watching this video next. Let me know how you got on in the comments.